Well hello there YouTube, this is Bruno and um, I wanted to show you guys what I've been working on in the last few weeks. I haven't up uploaded a video on YouTube for close to a month and uh, my channel is coming up on 10,000 views and I figure I'd com com uh, commemorate the occasion with uh, you know more open source projects. Um, as you know, I open sourced my extruder, and um, I like the community that goes through and actually truly open sources their designs. And uh, what that really means is it allows people to adapt them to their own needs, it allows them to um, make them better in some cases. In some cases, it adapts, it allows them to basically have something that is of their very own and uh, I've been working on a 3D scanner here some of you may recognize this as the uh, Circlop uh, 3D scanner which actually requires a computer and um, but I like their hardware design this is a very nice table it's riding on a gigantic bearing it's got this 3D printed uh, portion here and the top as well it rides on a NEMA 17 motor there's a few things, there's a few issues with it uh, I don't like uh, the way the manual support material was put in it was very difficult to print that way so being that it was truly open sourced um, I was able to download FreeCAD and uh, edit the files and get rid of those support materials and allow Kura to generate its own which gave me a much better result and that made me a lot happier but uh, I really don't want to dedicate a full PC to a 3D scanner and there's no point in it um, there's another project out, out there called free LSS um, which is free laser scanner system I believe um, and uh, their whole premise is you know a Raspberry Pi camera NEMA 17 some simple circuitry here well not quite that simple but some circuitry here and you control the whole shebang which is two lasers and a NEMA 17 motor as well as taking snapshots with the 5 megapixel Raspberry Pi camera which is actually incidentally better than any webcam you can buy so that's a good thing what I did was I bought a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, I saw no point in saving 10 bucks over getting a Raspberry Pi 1 instead of a 2 so I figured what the heck um, this is my first Raspberry Pi actually I'm I'm not a Linux newbie but um, generally not a f big fan of um, Debian based uh, distributions however this was the easiest thing in the world to set up it's very simple and uh, very few problems with it so before I go through I want to show you what you guys what the schematic looks like. This is the schematic to control the laser scanner. So I merged two open source projects together and hopefully I can get something nice out of it. There's another fellow doing the same thing and um, he adapted some parts so on and so forth. Um, I'm going my own way in this one. Um, the transformer there is a um, 2 amp uh, 12 volt, 2 amp, 5 volt uh, transformer meant to power external hard drives and I got that from China for like three dollars a piece so it was okay it's fine I measured out the output seems reasonable we'll find out if it, it's powerful enough to power that NEMA 17 there um, install the software if you go to freelss.org I believe I'll put the link in the description and uh, you can actually download the software and it shows you how to set it up on the Raspberry Pi actually in the last couple of weeks they've been the camera ran out of memory so I had to wipe out a couple of old videos and uh, I'm starting to record this thing again in either case uh, FreeLSS has a few new developments I will be doing an update on this I'll probably do a blog entry on how to do a Raspbian install install FreeLSS do the preliminary configuration and so on and so forth once I get that down, I'll do a blog entry, and uh, hopefully by that time we'll have a fully functional 3D scanner, not a mess of wires that you see here. But in either case, 
with that said I set this thing up to um, boot up automatically onto uh, Raspbian and it takes the IP off the network and so on and so forth I don't have a GUI set up on the Raspberry Pi I don't need it to start a GUI so in either case uh, once I go through there I go through command line I'm using juice SSH on my phone I hit enter and FreeLSS should be running now FreeLSS is managed through uh, GUI and the GUI I'll do it on my tablet is simply um, give me a second the GUI looks very simplistic Oh, it's 137. Whoops. We got the wrong IP. There we go. And the GUI looks like that. Come on, focus, damn you, focus. And, uh. See? It's already picking up some stuff on the camera. Actually, that was uh, an old scan. So, settings. Have your settings. 5 megapixel still mode is what I'm using, uh, right laser selection, so on and so forth. You'll, we'll explore these up a little bit more. And camera. Let's see if the motor will rotate 360 degrees. Oh, well, I clicked rotate. Absolutely nothing is happening. Are we feeding this thing 12 volts like we're supposed to? Well, being that this was a first run, well, I figured out what I did wrong. I forgot to give the 5 volts the Palulo driver needs to power the motor. And, uh, well, to arm the driver, I should say. It's 12 volts is what is powering the motor, actually. So now, we have a motor that rotates and we have I replay I put a lead in to where uh, the left laser is supposed to be so I can toggle it the thing is I do notice some latency I don't think the Pi is really meant to do any of this uh, real-time control stuff but it shouldn't be all that bad I should be able to toggle uh, the right laser which is the actual laser and toggle the left laser which is that actual LED as you can see it actually lit up uh, I have a feeling the that Palulo driver is going to need some tuning it, it's out of my original ramps board that I bought in the beginning and I ended up actually frying the voltage converter on uh, Arduino so I didn't trust the actual RAM support either so at that point I just bought another one they're actually really cheap so what the heck and uh, bought an Arduino RAM LCD package thing and it worked out fine now I wonder if I tune this driver if that noise will go away or what is actually making the noise is it the... no it's not the power supply It's probably the Palulo driver. In either case, leave a comment be below. Comment, uh, subscribe. That'd be nice. Um, help me reach the next milestone. Here's to another 10,000 views. Thanks, guys. Bye.